Today is men's convention. We have this, and then the men's stands given, and then we eat the cake. I expected that cake to be as big as the table, but when I'm looking at that place, it seems as if it's only for me. So on behalf of the whole church, I will take it home. And I will eat it. So let's have Sister Lucinda. Put your hands together for CFT Drama Group. Praise the Lord. I said praise the Lord, everybody. Amen. Um, we're going to do something a little bit different from usual. It's not exactly a drama piece in the traditional sense. However, the team get together and the Holy Spirit laid it on our heart to relay this message to all of you. This is not just for the men in the house. Um, everybody can walk away with something. So I really pray that the words that are said minister to each and every one of you in Jesus' name. Moving on from something that Reverend Collar taught on Friday, which is that we ought not to see Jesus and God the Father as an external person or being. He is indeed our friend. And he wants to hear from each and every one of us every single day. Amen? So with that in mind, I introduce to you this piece which is called The Heart of Man. And I pray that you are blessed in Jesus' name. Fifty-nine has been delayed by approximately 12 minutes. I just saw this delayed again. Oh my God! He thought, excuse me, listen, I don't have time for your games, all right? So please step back. Right now is not the time. Uh, neither do I. So tell me, why do you misuse my name? What are you talking about? And who are you, by the way? But listen, I, I've told you, <laughs> please leave. Because right now, it's not a good time for me. You know, I just thought I'd try to understand, especially being busy. Just leaves my heart, all right? See, that's the problem, isn't it? You no longer have the time to devote yourself to prayer, to be watchful and thankful. What's the meaning of this? Who are you? And why are you talking to me? Listen, I've told you, I don't have the time for this. And you don't have no idea about my life. You don't have no, no idea about what I go through. You have not, no idea about my family, my work, my children, Your my wife. wife. Yeah, yeah, my wife. You don't, you don't know what I have to deal with on a daily basis. You don't know what goes through at work. And why you, I mean, where are you from, first of all? You don't provide for my family, do you? You don't take care of my children, do you? You're not the one that has to deal with my wife. Your wife, Diane. Okay, okay, this is getting weird. I don't know if you've been following me or something, but um, I don't like this, and I'm going to try and stand on the other side of the platform, so please, but who are you? The I am that I am. I will help you and keep you. Yeah. With long life will I satisfy you. No, no, please. Oh, I'm not ready to this. Uh, um, uh, I'm <laughs> give me time, you know. Lord, please. Just let me grow a bit older. Let me get a bit more money. I can give to your church. I can do anything you want. But right now, I'm really really not ready for this. It's really not going to work. I am your father and you are my child. The one whom I love. <laughs> I understand what you're saying, but you have no idea who I am. You have no idea what I am. I mean, if, well, that means you see my pride, you see my envy, you see my anger, you saw what I did. What I, what I did to her. My children don't even understand 
They don't believe I love them. <laughs> no, no, I'm not. The, they don't believe I love them. They don't. Diane expects so much from me. And the fact is, I can't do it. I can't. And <laughs> they don't know that. I don't understand because <laughs> no one really no, should. I'm sorry, dear. <laughs> you see, before you were formed in the womb, I knew you. And I set you apart as my son to be my priest to the nations. You see, in you is a fountain of life. And I want to use you so that through you, they will come to see my light, which is found only in Christ, my son. But you, do, you don't understand. I have tried, and I have tried to be like your son, but it can't be done. I'm sorry. I can't. My grace is sufficient for you. And my strength is made perfect in weakness. Tell me, is there anything I cannot do? Well, no. No, the reason. But how are you going to change this? How are you going to change me? How are you going to mold me? First, accept that I'm the one in control with the power to change you. Okay, okay. Well, that means I do nothing then. No, it means you let me take the lead. Well, what if there's a situation, right? What if I try? And who is taking the lead now? All I'm, all I'm saying is, I thought that if, you know, we did things. Son, your thoughts are not my thoughts. Neither are your ways my ways. Your mind cannot even begin to comprehend what I have in store for you. But what if we try something, something different, you know? Um, this and some that would only make this journey longer than it should be. All right. So, are you ready to let me take the lead? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. See, yeah. I see your heart. I know you're holding back. Okay. All right. All right? All right? I'm ready. You do what you have to do. You see, the aim is for you to put on my full armor and let go of everything that you've harbored so that you can take your stand against the devil's schemes. For your struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against rulers. My love for money. Against the authorities. Pornography. Against the powers of this dark world. Envy and deceit. And after you've done everything to stand, stand firm, therefore, because I live in you. You, you live in me. But you're right here. You see, my spirit is everywhere. And it dwells with mankind. But for us to become one, you have to welcome me in. You have to invite me in. And as a result, you live in me. So I, so I also live in you. Yes. And I want you to remember that. You see, whenever anyone doubts you, and whenever you have doubts and uncertainties, have faith in me. I do not make mistakes. Have faith in me. I cannot fail. But if, but if you live in me, and I live in you, why do I make such a mess of things? Why do I do things that I know would disappoint you? Why do I, why do I fail myself? Why do I even gratis, focus on gratifying my own needs? Why? <laughs> I mean, if you live in me, why do I feel this way? I mean... Does this even sound like the word of a priest, of your child, of your, your son? Listen, remember that this body, your flesh, is your enemy. It will never stop wanting to do evil. The only solution is to die to it. That is the only way you can be holy. Okay, okay. 
this dime sounds a bit harsh, you know. Um, isn't there something else I can do? Isn't it like uh, I could sow a seed? I mean, I can sow a seed. I can sow many seeds. I can even do, I do a 40-day fast every three years, every five years. I never asked you to do those. So you really want me to die? Yes, to your flesh. Yeah. How do I do that? How do I do it? Judge everything that you do by my word. And be careful to do what is right in my sight. Remember that your body is my temple. You are my son and I love you. You see, I made a choice to come down from heaven to be close to you, to live in you, to be near you. And now you have a choice. So allow me to do what I do best. But what if I what if I keep, keep up? What if, what if I, I, I don't make it? I don't think I can. You have a choice. But what if I fail? You still have a choice. So what do I do now? Remember. Believe in me and have faith in me. Every day, meet with me. Meet with me daily. Seek me daily. So that I can feed your spirit. Allow me to love you in every area of your life. And allow me to lead every part of your life. Allow me. You know, I wish I could see what you see. I see a king. I see a ruler. I see a man made in my image. Within you is the power to change the world. Thank you. Thank you. Amen. Can I have the protocol, please, to bring?